What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So we got some massive, massive breaking news. Some massive, interesting breaking news. Shout out to my brother, Round One Sports. Uh, he did an interview, Round One Sports Talk. He did an interview. I'll drop the link in the, in the, in the below. He did an interview with Arthur Betabiev's trainer, the newly crowned undisputed light heavyweight world champion, Russian superstar Basa, who is now 21 wins, no loss, no draw, 20 wins by way of knockout. He is, uh, 39 years of age, five foot 11 and a half with a 73 and a half inch arm reach, coming off the biggest win of his career as he defeated in a highly anticipated unification showdown for undisputed Dmitry Bivol, who was a fellow countryman who was undefeated at the time in the WBA light heavyweight world champion, Russian superstar Basa, who was 23 wins at the time, no loss, no draw, 13 wins by way of knockout. But Arthur Betabiev, he won the fight and became undisputed. And it was an extremely close fight, extremely close fight. But more importantly, Bavol wants the rematch. It was extremely close. There's some people that had controversy surrounding it. And... This was a fight that was put on by His Excellency, Prince Turkey al uh in Saudi Arabia. And it was a big card. He does business with Matchroom, Matchroom CEO and promoter Eddie Hearn and his own. And also with uh, Queensberry Promotions, Frank Warren and all other promoters, including in this fight, legendary Hall of Fame iconic promoter, Bob Arum, ESPN in top rank. Well, top rank, right? And so with that said, in this interview done by Round One Sports Talk, Arthur Betabiev's trainer reveals that they have approached him about a rematch, but Eddie Hearn has fallen out and doesn't want to do business anymore with Turkey al -Ashik. What? Now, Eddie Hearn has not won a fight under Turkey al -Ashik. any of his big fighters Big name fighters under Turkey al Sheik in Saudi and Riyadh season. He has not won any big fights. He's 0 for forever against all of these promoters, including this fight. He promotes Dimitri Bivol. And Eddie Hearn was very upset at the end of the fight. He felt like, uh, that Dimitri Bivol was unjustly cheated in the fight. Uh, he felt like better be have lost the fight. Rightfully so. He's, he's in his right to say that. That's his fighter. You got Anthony Joshua get knocked out. Uh, he lost the, the tournament, you know, uh, the five on five tournament, you know, so he's losing a lot. And now shockingly, he says that he's saying that he don't want to do business with Turkey al anymore for a rematch. And we know Bob Arum came out and said that they have to wait till next Riyadh season. Riyadh season ends in February. So the rematch ain't going to take place by then and that they will probably rematch and it won't be until October. And now we have four division world champion, Mexican superstar boxer, former undisputed super middleweight, Saul Canelo Alvarez, stating that he and his team are wanting to push for a fight with Arthur Betabiev now. Now Betabiev, he has a re he has a mandatory challenge in um Michael Eifert, okay, who is 13 wins, one loss, no draws. Uh, two wins by way of five wins by way of knockout. Uh, that's his IBF International Boxing Federation mandatory challenger. So he has to satisfy that. But Bob Arum stated that, uh, they will be in, they will be having fights in between the rematch. He expects Bavola to have a fight in between the rematch and he expects Better BF to have a fight in between the rematch. And Bob Arum promotes, uh, Arthur Better BF, right? Uh, it's shocking that Eddie Hearn is falling out with Turkey al Sheik because that's both, that's Turkey's introduction to the U.S. through Eddie Hearn. I don't know if Eddie Hearn is upset and salty that his fighters is losing and now Turkey is not, you know, um, backing him or reaching out to other people. Don't know what the issue is, but that's shocking. We did hear Bob Arum say that he won't be doing any more Riyadh seasons here in the States. Um, and that's not shocking because the the higher ups that are funding the money, they're not interested anymore in putting on events here in the States. That could be a part of the problem. 
who knows? Now, Canelo Alvarez is interested in Arthur Betterbeev. I think Canelo Alvarez gets stopped by Arthur Betterbeev. I think he gets stopped. Styles make fights. Bavall could barely keep him off him, and he outclassed Canelo. I thought he won nine rounds to three Bavall against Canelo. And Arthur Betterbeev is a way bigger puncher and way more durable than Dimitri Bivol. He's going to stop Canelo. But this is interesting. So is Betterbeev going to be awarded and allowed to have a step-aside fight and fight Canelo Alvarez? Will they grant him that? Will the IBF grant him that? I know the IBF stated that they was willing to grant him permission to fight uh, Bavol as long as they came to an agreement and not have to honor his mandatory. This is interesting, man. Now, Eddie Hearn and Turkey al Sheik have fallen out. Wow. We got to see how this unfolds. This is going to get interesting. Sport of boxing never never cease to amaze me. It's a circus. So let's see how this unfolds and plays out, man. But now Canelo Alvarez is pushing for the fight. I'm surprised. Because Arthur Betterbeev is extremely dangerous. I'm surprised. So let's see how this unfolds and plays out, man. But, uh. That's all I got for y'all. Drop a comment in the comment section. Go to Round One Sports Talk. The link will be in the in the, in the um, description. Uh, go to check out Round One Sports Talk. The link will be in the description. You can see this interview in its totality. Uh, follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All one word. I'm gone. Peace.